Hi, everybody. Welcome back on TSL today. Again, Giovanni Heater joined alongside Nick Brown with you. We just had the go Evan Hughes on. Uh, really great to hear from him on women's basketball, but we got some special stuff for you here. Let's have a little bit of fun, Nick. Virginia Tech trivia. We're putting Nick on the spotlight. Ooh, I can see his face. I'm He's nervous. nervous from afar right now. If you don't know, Nick Brown is one of the, actually, I'll take that back. Nick Brown is the biggest Virginia Tech fan I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. And uh, we're going to throw some, and these are some tough questions uh, that we're man. about to throw at him right here. Are these here. all sports or just football? This is, it looks like this is just football. Okay. Right okay. now. All right. I feel, all right. I feel like going to all these games since I was, what, six months old? All since right. I've been six months old, I feel like it's going to pay off. Well, let's now. see how you perform. Let's do this. So, uh, first question for you. We're going to do 10 questions, uh, 10 questions in a little under 10 minutes. Here we go. In the 2004 2005 season, Virginia Tech lost their season opener to USC. What was the final score of that game? Oh, I think it's 24 uh, 17 oh, or 26 to 17, something like that. You're very, very close. Cause oh no, it was a two score, it was a two score win for USC. Is it twenty seven to seventeen? I want to say twenty four to, to four, thirteen. To thirteen, that's right. Very close. I'm. I would have never. I mean, yeah. that was impressive. My dad. My dad always mentions that there is a horrible offensive pass interference. They were there right. at the game. I was not. Was the game was played uh, in Landover, Maryland. It was yeah. broadcast on ESPN. Number FedEx two. Field. Who did Virginia Tech play in their first game in the twenty first century? So in the year 2000, who was their first game against? Well, it was going to be Georgia Tech, but then that got rained out with lightning, and Lee Corso's truck got hit by, uh, or car got hit by lightning. Oh, man. So that was, I guess, a year and a half before I was born. Shoot. I should know this. I was looking at that earlier. You want the answer? It's probably someone, someone small, I think. You're overthinking this. It's Florida State Florida national State. championship game in the Nokia oh, Sugar Bowl. Oh, that is on a, January fourth. That's, that's a cheese 2000, question. January fourth, oh, two thousand. Oh, the, I, oh, I, knew you, I knew you were going to. I, I would have known that. I would have known. I yeah. promise, fans. You I would think know in that. the next season. Yeah, I would have right. known that. I know what you're saying. Dang. Yep. All right, number three. What was the nickname given to the great running back tandem of Kevin Jones and Lee Suggs? The Untouchables. Oh, nailed it. All right, you got it. I know that one. We're good there. That's good. (laughs) Number four, Michael Vick was a Heisman Trophy candidate in his freshman season. How many first place votes did he receive? (laughs) That is a, oh my gosh. What are these questions? Holy cow. I don't even think a Heisman voter could give you that one. Jeez. All right. Yeah. I, besides Chris <laughs> Coleman and maybe David Cunningham, I don't think anybody else is going to get this right. 25. Ron Dane won it with 586. Yeah. The second place finisher, Joe Hamilton, received 96 first place votes. So Ron Dane ran away with it. By that was way, a bizarre question. By the way, it's just because he was a freshman. Okay. Yeah. So, Fair enough. Yeah. When Johnny Manziel and Lamar Jackson all then came in, they changed the game. But since. Michael Vick was a fresher. There was a big bias towards the seniors and juniors back then. So that makes sense. My opinion, Vick should have won because he's still considered the second most electrifying player in college football. So just saying, if you're in that list, why didn't you win the Heisman? Bill said it's funny. Bill Roth said that uh, one time when I was talking to him, he said like Vick got robbed of the Heisman because he was a freshman and college yep. football wasn't ready to give a freshman the Heisman. That's so. exactly right. Yep. All right. Who was their head football coach before Frank Beamer at Virginia Tech? Bill Dooley. All right. Nailed it. Nailed <laughs> it. Um, he took Virginia Tech to their first bowl win. Yeah. Put them into sanctions, too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> Chris Coleman would have liked that one. Yeah, he won the Peach Bowl, though, so we'll give him that. Oh, my. I can't believe this is even on here. <laughs> Who was Virginia Tech's main rival? <laughs> ha! They got all these crazy questions, and then they ask that one. Who is it? <laughs> UVA. All right. Yeah, that's oh. correct. Clutch, right? <laughs> I think I, so I've missed two now. Yeah. I think I've missed only two. Yeah. In 2000 and 2004, there were two Virginia Tech players who also played on the basketball team. Who were they? What years? 2003 and 2004. 2003 and 2004. Uh, oh, I know it was a tight end. One was a tight end. Uh, Dad talks about. Uh, dang. I don't know the other one. Oh, you got to give him me. Sorry. Brian Randall. Brian Randall. I forgot he played for a year. Yeah. And Jeff King. Jeff King. That was going to be my answer, but yeah. I was like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. a Jeff King. Yeah. I did not know Brian Randall. 
I know he's a hooper back in high school, though. Interesting. He's a baller in high school. During that same time, Syracuse had the same thing. Donovan, of course, I'm going to get bullied for this, but <laughs> Donovan McNabb played on the Syracuse basketball team, and he was the quarterback, but that was in 95. All right. Uh, what was the final score of the 1999 uh, Boston College-Virginia Tech game that sent Tech to the national championship? I know they smoked them. I want to go with 38-7, to seven, something like that. Close. You got Tech score, right? They have 13, 14? 14. 38, 14. Give BC yeah, another touchdown. Something like that. Yep. I mean, you got 38. That's that's impressive. Uh, when did Virginia Tech play their first nationally televised football game? Golly, um, it may have been the Peach Bowl. So, 86? Older. Older? Oh, so then I'm toast. Yeah. yeah. I don't 19, know. <laughs> I, this is a weird guy. 1966, they lost to Miami 7-6 to six See, on I was going to guess it was going to be Miami, but that is, <laughs> oh my gosh. Who did Virginia Tech, this is the last question, question number 10, who did Virginia Tech play in their first Big East, not ACC, first Big East football game? Same I'll give you a hint. It was in 1992. 92. All right, that's the 2-8-1 year. Um... Rough year. Uh, shoot. I know all the Big East teams, but it's like you just got to randomly pick well, one. Well, I will give you this, too. It was not a Big East team. It was a season opener. Oh, oh, okay. And, and oh, it was not see, I was thinking the Big East team. Yeah. Okay, not Big East. Then, like, Akron, maybe? Close. It was Temple. Okay. Oh, damn, that's they beat, my other guess. They beat Temple 26 to 7. All in all, though, I mean, you did you did pretty good. It was weird that they threw who's Virginia Tech's main rival, Virginia. Yeah, that, that was a toughie. That was interesting. I know you got two yeah, bits. Yeah, so uh, two things on uh, this uh, on this date in uh, Tech Sports history. I know Clark Rulin always does that, so go follow him on Twitter. He's pretty good at that. Uh, this is where I pulled them off of, actually, too. I he also him. hooked us up with these Tech yeah, Sideline helmets. helmets. Um, but uh, one was uh, five years ago, Virginia Tech boast rate, boat raced uh, UNC uh, in those sweet orange jerseys that they only wore there one time. Uh, it was 59-7. Greg Stroman had that. Interesting enough, that was Trey Turner's official visit that day as well. Okay. So I'm tweet that out as well. Uh, and then on this date, first ever Virginia Tech, well, in school history football game, the Virginia agricultural and mechanical school or something weird <laughs> like that. I don't know. But they played St. Albans, and uh, which is well now notorious for being one of the most haunted places in Virginia, the old sanatorium over in Radford. Wow. But before that, it was an all-boys Lutheran school for about 27 years uh, over in Radford, Virginia. Um, so that was really cool. And I was reading up on that school, on St. Albans, uh, before they changed over there, the Crimson, that was their... A team name. They played Georgia. They played teams like Georgia Tech, Tennessee. They actually beat Georgia Tech twice and Tennessee once. Wow. Um, but they could never beat UVA. That was always their uh, their big trouble. But in 1901, their best season, they, they went 5-1. and one. But Virginia Tech did beat them in their first ever game. Uh, so uh, it's just crazy how now we're sitting here in over about cent- over a century later and Virginia Tech's playing Radford University, which is an all-girls school, uh, until the 70s uh, in men's basketball. So it's crazy yeah. how much... Time flies, but yep. it's crazy. To and we're two and that. five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah unfortunately. It's crazy like that. But All right. Stuff well, like that. Yeah. Good job, man. Well, they, yeah, you too, man. <laughs> you too. That wraps things up today on TSL Today. Thanks so much for being with us, as always. We'll see you back here on Monday. Till then, he's Nick Brown. I'm Giovanni Heater. So long from Blacksburg.